So as you know, I've written my book, my latest book this year called The Dragon and the Goat. Goat standing for greatest of all time. The dragon, which is that part of your brain, the lizard part of your brain, where your fight, flight, freeze, feed, fawn, which is addiction, and people pleasing reside. It's where a contrast effect resides. It's where emotionally charged memories reside and generally serves to hold you back. What I would love for you is to find what I call your own goat path. What steps do you need to take? What direction do you need to go into? What goals do you need to set for yourself? That if you did that stuff consistently, would lead you into your greatest of all time life. And a greatest of all time life is one where you travel if you want to travel, where you live in the kind of home you want to live in um, comfortably, right? You can pay the whole thing off if you really want to. It allows you to have the lifestyle balance that you really want. Um, but most people don't get there because they listen to the dragon instead. They listen to the dragon that says, you can't do that. They listen to the dragon that says, no one in this family has done that. They listen to the dragon that says, you don't deserve that. You don't work hard enough. Look at all these other people. Look at what they're doing and how hard they're working. They're not asking for this. So why should you? And they pull back and they take the dragon path, which let me tell you is not a good way to go. So here's my challenge to you today. What would a great life look like to you? What kind of work are you doing? What kind of schedule do you run? What kind of people are you around? What do you do in your free time, right? What are the kinds of things that would truly be, if you could just say, oh my God, that would be great. What would those be? And I want you to take a minute. And if you got a sticky, the back of your hand, your arm, your belly, whatever, um, also notebooks uh, or goat books, if you want to call it that, and write down just a few things that you think would be really, really great. And then ask yourself one more question. What is one, two, or three things that if you did them consistently would actually move you in a direction to make those things happen? Whether it happens in a week or a year or even 10 years, if you just did these things, that would be your path to that greatness. It's your goat path, your greatest of all time path. That's where you want to go. You don't have to stay where you are. You always have a choice. You can live with something, you can change something, or you can leave something. If you're not in a job that you like, you are not stuck. There is an active job market. If you don't like where you are financially right now, there is something you can do about it, especially if you're an entrepreneur. I work with a ton of entrepreneurs, mostly in real estate. No one is stuck. You cannot blame the market. You cannot blame the economy. You cannot blame the politicians. You can't blame anybody, but you can take responsibility and say, what am I going to do about it? And once you say that, that starts you already without even thinking about it, without even articulating what you want onto your goat path, just to say, what can I do about it? Another great phrase I love to use, because there's always going to be things that come up and you're like, oh, how am I going to handle it? What, like, uh, what if I don't know what to do? The other great thing, other great phrase that you can say to yourself that keeps you on your goat path is I'll figure it out because you will. I've come from almost going bankrupt three times. I've been $150,000 in debt, carrying credit cards. I would drive by houses for sale and think that's nice for everybody else, right? I never thought I would own a home again. I never thought I would find love again. I never thought I would have the business that I have today. Except one day I decided to say, maybe, just maybe I can do this. What can I do about it? And it was not a straight line. It was very squiggly all over the place, kind of explosive, <laughs> a little bit ugly um, at some times. But that's how you find your greatness. So if you don't like where you are right now, don't stay there. You don't have to. No one is telling you to. And certainly no one is keeping there. The only person keeping you there is you. And the beautiful thing about that, the great advantage when people say, well, I'm the only one holding me back. You're also your own jailer. So open the door, let your goat out and start moving down that path. 
What do you want? What does a great life look like? Can you say, okay, let's, let's see what I can do. What can I do about that? You can say to yourself, I'll figure it out when something happens. And what you'll find is the combination of a goals plus that self-reassurance leads to some pretty amazing steps towards everything you've always wanted. It's right.